Hi, I'm Willie, and welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. We're continuing our 2018 run, as it were. Thank you again for being here. I appreciate all of you. Really, I do more than, than what you even know. Tonight, what we're talking about is the Ubiquity Nano Switch. This is now available from distributors and from Ubiquity's own website. It's been available for a little while. People have been asking about this, and it is an outdoor four-port PoE pass-through switch. So what does that mean? We can flip it over here, and we're actually going to take it out of the box. I'm going to show you, but let's look at the website for it real quick. What this is, is it says power strip simplicity for 24 volt devices. You can see they've got one Ethernet run up to this, and then they appear to be powering three devices from it, 24 volt devices, which I think is f funny because I think the cameras are switching. I think I saw where they're switching to AF. Maybe they'll do AF or passive. I don't know. If you know, put that down in the comments. Uh, so you feed one Ethernet in and then you get three out, three PoE out. So you have to do a 24 volt in here and then you get three out and it is designed to go outdoors so we're going to open this guy up we're going to plug it in we're going to plug a couple other devices into it and see how it is going to work out so now i could read you the data sheet uh, or i could break out the ruler maybe let's uh let's go to the data sheet real quick yeah, here's the data sheet We'll wait for the data sheet to load, and this guy is actually going to get put into production. You are going to see this on the tower that I'm putting up. So real quick, let's take a look at the dimensions on this guy. Oh, it's got a really nice blue LED here on the front. We'll get to see that. So dimensions, 7.73 by 3.68 by 1.28 inches, or if you need it in metric, it's 1. 196.4 by 93.5 by 32.4 millimeters. Weighs 9.6 ounces or 271 grams. It's got a total non-blocking line rate of 4 gigabits per second. Total power consumption 1.5 watts. And here it shows you the passive PoE wattage per port. 24 volt, 2 pair, 1 amp per port, 24 watt. Total passive PoE max wattage, 24... 24 volt, 2 pair, 1 amp for 3 ports. Power supply method, passive 24 volt, 2 pair PoE in. Power supply, PoE 24, 24 W PoE adapter not included. So it does not come with the power adapter. Never fear. We're just going to plug this thing into a Unify switch that has been, this has the port configured for 24 volt. And we'll see what happens maybe we'll melt this thing down so here's the box we open it up and as always we have one of the wonderful quick start guides and tells you everything that it comes with and then over here talks about doing proper grounding you should always be doing proper grounding and we will get uh, more into the installation of this in an outdoor environment once i get my once I get my tower, which should be as soon as the weather breaks, we're going to be go. We're going to go take the tower down. So in the box, you get two clamps, and then you get a self-tapping screw. And then, of course, you saw me put the switch to the side. So here's the switch. Here is the LED. There's the Ubiquity logo. On the bottom, you can see where we've got four punch outs for Ethernet. And then on the back, they've got this is all molded in one piece. And if you look at it, it's contoured, so you can put a pipe right in here. You're going to see us mount this thing on a tower for our instructional videos. It's got this nice finger hole. You're just going to put some pressure on this and push it like that, and it's going to come open. There's the bottom. There's our four. I thought it was weird that three of those came punched out and one didn't, but 
whatever. Um, and then inside we've got the nano station identification and uh, the MAC address, the date code, and all that good stuff. And then, of course, here, right here, is going to be our PoE in, and then our three PO, PoE outs, and then a grounding screw right there. So, without further ado, I have a 24 volt line right here. Let's plug this thing in and see what happens. Hopefully, we don't let the magic smoke out. Okay. So I don't know if you can see that or not. I am going to shut some lights off here. I do have a camera is not focusing really well, but we do have the blue LED on there. And then you can see where we've got our gigabit link. So it looks like we are up and going here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull a couple other Ethernet cables real quick. I've got one right here. We're going to take this and we are going to plug it into a camera. Comes on. And IRs came on on the camera. Beautiful. So the camera is booting. Uh, don't have. Okay, now I got a link light there. And then what I've got is I've got. Uh, one of the older Unify AP LRs. So let's plug this guy in. Okay, I have another Ethernet cable, and we will go into another port on this, and we will plug into the Unify C. Ah, there it is. So this thing should uh, boot up. So, so far, we have a camera. We have an access point. Uh, let's see if we can power this mesh unit with it. All right, I got another Ethernet cable here. And we're going to go into this mesh unit because these are supposed to be uh, passive or these are supposed to be passive or like a standard PoE. So we will turn this guy so you can see. And let's see what happens. Hey, it looks like it's booting. So We've got a camera, we've got an, an uh, LR access point, and they are all being fed from this guy. So if I turn him this way, you can see all the pretty lights. So I'm going to bring some light back and see if the video quality comes back at all here. That's probably a little better, the video quality is. But you can see we've got link lights here. You can see that the this mesh access point you actually can't see. I mean, it looks white here, but it's blue. We've got the camera. Let's see if I'm getting notifications that my camera has reconnected to my test in VR. And it looks like we reconnected to the NVR. So that's it. I mean, this thing... <laughs> This thing, there's nothing to it. It's power in, power out. So one 24 volt in, and you can see we are powering three other passive devices with it. It, it works as advertised, 100%. So we're going to put this guy on a pole. We're going to power Wisp equipment with it, and it's going to be, it's going to be awesome. So um, that's it for now. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe, please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Please use those Amazon affiliate links down there. Also, if you need consulting or anything like that, there are informational links down in the description. And as always, we'll see you in the next video.